Elias Ambu and Lolo Five are the coolest kids in the fridge. Aspen X Games have announced the invited athletes. Down Days turns three years old, and Marcus Eder has busted up his knee. But first tonight, we're going to move on to sponsor news with this special birthday edition of the Down Days News. Norwegian wonder kid Sigt Veit has signed with Alan Skis, joining fellow Norwegian Klaus Finn on the Alan team. Sig is super stoked with the new skis and was ripping on them at the Budapest Fridge. Simon Dumont has left Salomon, who he was riding for since age 14 to sign a three-year deal with Austrian manufacturer Head Skis. He spent his summer in New Zealand testing various skis and is more interested in getting best quality materials rather than a big contract. With no other skiers on their freestyle program, Simon is sure to get exactly what he wants from them. French whippersnapper Nathan Gaudet has signed up with Scott skis, poles, helmets and goggles. Shredding out of Bourg Saint Maurice in France, there will be a lot expected from the kids slotting into the gap left by Lolo Favre on the Scott team. In the most anticipated sponsor news of the season, Henrik Harlout has signed with Armada Skis and Clothing. Henrik will get a pro model outfit as well as a ski and joins the pro team alongside B Dole. Tom Wallace is taking a less is more approach with his webisodes, looking to provide us with less filler and more banger shots for the upcoming season. Colby West will be releasing three new skis with Caslet and they are currently producing a video to let you know all about it. Colby has also announced that every day he is shuffling. Every day I'm shuffling. Stay tuned to Colby's blog for more news on that front. And now on to contest results. The Monster Energy Budapest Fridge, better known as the Beast in the East, went down over the weekend. Set in one of the most beautiful cities in Europe, the fridge is fast becoming a favourite of athletes and media, with the crowd in Budapest getting right behind the free skiing contest, with a few hometown heroes in the lineup to get them going. On Thursday, there was a star comp that seemed to have been custom built for Lolo 5, with riders restricted to any variation of a 5. Lolo took out the star comp with a Switch Cork 5 Screaming Seam in Japan. Lolo picked up a main trophy and some spending money for his birthday party on Saturday night. I was like, when I came here, like I heard that, I was like, yeah, there's maybe a chance I can win money this weekend. Because normally when there's just CDB girl, I know I won't win. But he ended up pretty good. Yeah, I'm stoked. For the main event, we cross live now to our man Jeremy Pompon Bankers, live in the field up at Budapest. Jeremy? Hey, 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 hey. hey thanks, John. Jeremy Pankras here, uh, Budapest event, uh, Hungary, things are going wide tonight, the kicker is sweet, uh, like really perfect, and riders uh, are going to be wide tonight. Let's check what's up. With the field cut down to the top eight, Elias Amble flicked that switch inside his head and went into the contest mode. PK Hunda strongmaned his way into third place just behind Shiskran Tifal superstar Kai Mala who is pushing in onto the podium at just about every contest he enters. But Budapest again belonged to Elias the Ambulance, taking out the comp with the Switch Dub 10 and his trademark mind-boggling Dub 14. Over in the land of secret gold storage and folding knives, the Glacier 3000 has been going down. We once again check up with our man, Jeremy Pompon Pancras, to see what's going on. Live to you, Jeremy. Uh, thank you, Sean. Here we are, uh, Glacier 3000. Uh, the finals just happened, and I'm with the winner of the day, Elvis. Uh, what are your thoughts about this, this day? Uh, my thoughts are really good. I had a great time. Ended up winning, which is always cool, and yeah, I'm super stoked, so it's fun, it's fun. <laughs> he was not that good, actually. No. No, not I'm at lying. all. I was better, way better. The lineup for the Aspen X Games has been announced, and the following Euros have got the call up. Jakob Wester, Henrik Harlau, Elias the Ambulance, Andreas Hatveit, Thomas Krieff, Kevin Rollon, and Anais Karadut have all been given the call up to Aspen, and we are looking forward to them repping hard. And now on to busted ass news, Marcus Eder has done himself a bit of a mischief. Marcus will be heading into surgery 
Innsbruck on the 13th of December. So if you're a fanboy or a fangirl and would like to smell his hair while he sleeps, this would be the perfect time. In an official statement, Marcus has announced that he has torn his ACL, meniscus, the bone has a bit of a bump, and the cartilage is kind of torn and he can sort of walk. On the other end of the busted ass scale, Russ Henshaw has completed a full recovery and will be heading to Solden in Austria to get back on his skis for the first time since tearing his knee while filming for Matchstick. Down days turn three over the weekend and we are celebrating by giving a bunch of goodies to you. To win a package full of all sorts of sweetness, including a down days hoodie, t-shirt, beanie, backpack, all four issues of the journal, including the new one and a sticker pack, head on over to our Facebook page and tag yourself in a picture, leave a comment and you'll be in the running to win one of 11 packs. The Down Days movie tour headed east two weeks ago and we have to give a massive shout out to our man Jerry for making it happen over there. With over 400 people showing up, it was one of the sickest stops of the tour, showing that Eastern Europe is one of the fastest growing areas for our sport. And now for the weather, brought to you by Adidas Eyewear. The outlook is dry and sunny for the majority of the Central Alps for the next week, with the freezing level staying above 2,000 metres until the 19th of November. When moisture will start to form off the west coast of France and accumulate around the mountains on the 23rd of November, when the freezing level will drop to 1,000 metres. In Scandinavia, snow will begin to fall above 1,500 metres north of Trisil from around the 20th of November. Thanks for joining us on this special third birthday edition of the Down Days News. We'll see you in two weeks with another update from the free skiing world. Until then, enjoy yourself. Hey Jeremy, what happened with your eyes? Can you show me? I can show you, this is my eye, actually I have a girlfriend who is, who is pretty much brutal and I did something wrong, so she kicked my ass, yes sir. So thank you Jeremy. You're welcome bitch. <laughs>